All right. Let me do a... I don't know how long this is, so it could be a long video on modifying your, well, not just modifying, but installing your a brand new canopy set on your Kraken 580 Nitro here. Um, this is uh, the new 580 uh, canopy scheme. And um, this is for the electric number 33, as you can tell as well here on the my electric, which I already modified for nitro, which I'm currently running, uh, which is also number 33. So what I'm gonna be doing here is, um, I'm gonna do a video on how I'm gonna mock this all up um, to do the same cutouts I have on here and also on this side. Um, these are the main two cutouts you need to worry about. Now the normal nitro has um, a slot here for your starter. Um, I put on the canopy after I start to, Dolly, now if the motor stalls, <laughs> oops, you know, if the engine stalls, that kind of sucks. Um, you have to take the canopy off to start it again, but it's, you know, it's not a big deal for me. And um, I'd rather have that on than to make this really, you know, flimsy and, and then, you know, drilling that hole out, it's, it's, it's quite hard. And if the canopy doesn't line up perfectly on, on it, then you end up kind of rubbing on the side. So, um, yeah, this beautiful canopy, I'm gonna, you know, I do need to hack it up, but at the very least, I can try to keep the structural integrity as best as possible and, and limit my cuts to, you know, just the bare necessities, let's say. So, all right. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh tape this up and we're gonna do some mock-up and I'll show you how I transfer, um, basically taking this and transferring it on here. And then um, the rest of it, it's going to be a time lapse like of me actually swapping out the boom. Um, if you built a kit, you know how the boom goes in, so it's not much surprise. Um, so I'm going to go and just do that in a time lapse fashion. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a quick wipe down with um, alcohol and some paper towel. Um, primarily because it's had some nitro grease on it and gunk on it. Now inside does feel pretty dry and you know, I'm not getting any of that black residue coming off. Um, so, but yeah, I just want to clean out the outside so that way, you know, my hands don't get that grease and start touching that canopy as well. So I'm going to do that in time lapse and then I'll cut back over and I'll show you how I template this all up. Okay, we're back and I got most of the gunk off. It looks, uh, looks a lot nicer now. So one of the first things we're gonna do is remove the canopy, um, the canopy uh, mounts. Not mounts. What are these? Keychains. All right. So once I get that removed, um, basically what I want to do is just kind of use this as the template itself. So I'm just gonna, you know, squeeze this in here. And now, okay, you can't get all the way in there. So you're gonna have to kind of estimate some of this stuff. And it's easy to estimate some of the things like the riding, because you can know that, like, okay, I'm just gonna come out to here. But like what I wanna do is, um, with the template is primarily just get the, the marks where I'm gonna start cutting in and out. So before I do any of that though, is we need to put some blue painter's tape all over this. Um, as we cut, we don't want everything to chip and you know, paint it all messed up. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get some blue painter's tape and uh, get that all going. So, I got my tape here, and if I look here, kind of turn that over again, general location, I'm gonna need to tape here and over here on this side, which is gonna be just a little kind of lower corner here. So, I'm gonna line this bottom up because this is kind of an easy way of kind of flexing things into position and kind of lining it up. And I basically wanna just draw this line here, okay. And then I'm gonna measure here. This is this comes down probably about a centimeter. So I'm just gonna come down. Here's the corner. Come down about a centimeter, and I'm gonna just draw a line from there. And that's where I'm gonna start. Okay. So I, I don't care if this line is perfectly straight here, like a an intersection. So I'm, I'll then draw it out. Okay. And there you go. That's gonna be what I want to cut out. Okay. And hopefully that should match up pretty good to that once it's finally cut. Remember, it's a guesstimate because I'm basically shoving the other canopy in there to figure out where <laughs> where to cut. 
All right, for this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just line this up. And then I got basically an average of right there and right here, okay? Now, as far as how deep to go in with the circle, um, I'm gonna go by the lettering and I'm hoping the lettering is based the same, but it should give me a good enough cut and we'll, we'll fit it on. If we need to cut more, we'll cut it out more before we um, take the tape off and do final cleanup and you know, um, all that. So right here, you can see that it kind of goes into where the, the K, I'm sorry, the R is of Kraken. And it kind of turns right before that point here. So right before here. Okay, and, and if it's a little bit off, no one's gonna notice. So, so here I might take something that's maybe a circle that might fit that, you know, something like this maybe. It doesn't have to be full circle. I can just kind of line up this half and then maybe picture this half about there. Oops, got moved while I was writing. Okay, and then just line that up. And a little free hand. Let's kind of round that up. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna cut for this side. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna keep it simple. One cut, two cut. I'm not gonna bother with the starter shaft pull. I'm gonna go outside and do the dremeling and cutting. Um, it's dark outside. So as late, so I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. So I'll record that in the morning and, you know, uh, get that going and then we'll, we'll take a look. Go from there. Um, it's actually the next day, no, the day after the next day. Um, didn't get a chance to do this yesterday. I'm gonna do this today. And I'm gonna go over what I do to uh, cut this canopy to make it work for nitro. So uh, last time I marked out the um, angle, which I'm gonna probably, that doesn't look level, it looks a little bit low. But I'll, I'll kind of do that when I cut. I'll fix that when I cut it. And then over here, I'm gonna be cutting this slot out so I can get the, uh, for the carb and the uh, the needles. All right, so the things you'll need. I use a sanding bit. Uh, you'll need a rotary tool. Um, I use a sanding bit and also a cutoff wheel. So I'm gonna start with the cutoff wheel, especially for parts over here where I wanna make a pretty straight line. I'm gonna do those parts. And then I'll come in with this to kind of make the beveled, um, not the bevel, but the rounded edges here. Yeah, like how I get that, I will cut this kind of with this a little and then I'll come in here and clean it up. Um, kind of like woodworking or any other thing, you uh, cut less. Oops, I probably need to replace that now. Uh, you cut less and then you work up to your line. Um, that way, you know, if you make a mistake, you haven't cut too deep into it or any issues. <sighs> Did I mess up my cutoff wheel by dropping it? Probably. All right, uh, other things you're gonna need is I wear gloves because we're working with carbon fiber and I like to just take the gloves off, wash my hands and be done with it. Uh, because we're working with carbon fiber, you wanna have uh, some type of 
breathing mask or dust protection. Uh, you don't want to inhale this stuff. And then you want safety glasses to protect your eyes from anything splintering. Not really on the carbon. This will create dust. Um, but splintering from cutoff wheels. I've had this thing spinning at whatever RPM and then, you know, it cracked because I twisted a little and, it, you know, these things are paper thick. Um, crack and have it hit my face. And it's like, ooh, if I didn't have safety glasses, that could have hit my eye. So, we don't want that. All right. You need, to, you need to see to fly, right? So, all right. We're gonna first, I'm going to swap this out. Swap it out for the cutoff wheel. Okay. And of course, I have my real B tool here. Not multi tool, rotary tool. Okay. Safety glasses. So, let's start with cutting off. Um, speed wise, I go pretty. I don't go too crazy fast. I go about halfway in the, in the rotary tool here, maybe a little bit up. Depending on how much bend I have on this line, we'll slow down the actual um, cutting wheel speed. So I just want to make sure I have enough speed. So it's about there. I want to start cutting into this. A little bit shallow from the line here. Okay, for the corners here, um, what I do is I actually cut it really wide so I can get the whole blade to cut the, to get in between there. You see how I can fit the whole blade to get in between the two cut lines. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just go back in here and I'm going to cut this out again. Right? I, wanna, I want this piece to be loose. So I'll do it this way so I could cut it there. Okay, here we go. So that is to be held by the tape now from behind. So there's my first cut. Um, if I want to, I can make some cross cuts like this. I kind of just kind of get in there and, and you know cut these off a little bit better. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna come in here with my cutoff wheel. Okay, my standing wheel and kind of finish that off. Okay, we'll move on to the other side here. For this side, I'm going to start cutting, and then I'm going to kind of curve it, you'll see. Okay, I'm cutting, I'm cutting shallow, because I want to, I want to come, you know, I'm cutting within the line, because I'm going to kind of clean this up later. So I got my rough cuts in and they are sure rough. Um, really this side, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna clean that edge up, but I really wanna just clean up that corner. So we're gonna move over to the sanding bit here. All right, I'll switch this out real quick. Okay, tighten that up. Okay. So sanding, because I'm sanding with a round wheel, I'm gonna put round spots if I don't be careful, okay? So, you just want to kind of skim it. You want to skim it very quickly. Okay, you want to skim it very quickly across because you don't want to dig into a spot too much for too long. So here, I'm going to dig a little, get that round circumference, and then smooth it out. Smooth it out, smooth it out. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bevel the edge a little too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with, with CA and seal this back up. Okay, so I just beveled that edge a little. I'm gonna bevel this edge a little. Okay, the reason I'm beveling is I don't want any sharp corners or sharp edges. Um, you know. So now, this side is where it's gonna be very curvy. So I'm gonna just kinda work the tool into it. And kinda work up to that line. Oh, am I even showing my video right? Okay. Okay, work up to that line. 
Okay, oops, you see, you don't want to do that. That's why you have painted six. It helps with that. You want to stay centered on the stick. Okay, you don't want to be too far in the rack. Okay. And I'm going to just keep on going around. I'm going to hold it in a different position to get it going. Move down any rough spots. It's going to be a little hook spot, so I want to kind of smooth that down. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to bevel the edge a little, just like before. This is very light. I'm very lightly pressing on this. You can even hear it's very, it's very lightly making noise. So I want to bevel both edges. So, make it nice and flat. Okay, feel it with your hand. Feel it with your finger. You can feel it, even though the tape kind of looks deceiving because it, uh, it starts to fray up. You want to feel it with your hand. You can feel any bumps or any irregularity that you want to smooth out, okay? Use your hand. Feel. They feel for bumps. Feel for any scars or anything that could be like, you know, that could potentially poke you or anything, right? Okay. Let's turn that off and I think I'm done. So at this point, if I'm happy with where I'm at, um, I'm going to take the tape off. Okay. Nice and gently because I don't know how this paint is. All right. Okay. So it's a little bit off, but that's okay. It's a little bit off, but that's that's okay. It looks fine. Okay. And now, if I wanted to, I can put tape, painters tape back on here and, and go for another round if I feel like I need to adjust that. Um, to be honest, I don't care. That's the muffler side. You're gonna see a muffler here. You're not gonna see that this line is a little bit cut down. Yeah. It's not perfect, but. It's good enough for me, um, you know, these canopies, although they are beautiful and we like to keep them as new as possible, um, you know, things happen, they eventually go in, so, or the nitro grease will eventually get to it. Okay, I'm going to wipe that down with some, um, a little bit of, uh, water and maybe some type of, uh, I don't want to use alcohol because of the matte finish. But, uh, yeah, all right, that's it. Uh, at that point, I can take my gloves off because I'm done, and my mask off, and my goggles, and all this fun stuff. So now I can talk normal. But there you have it. Let's cut out. And why don't we uh, go test fit this and make sure this works. This fits here. Okay. Let me get the canopy mount on and, and the blades on and clean this mess up. Bye. Can I do one of them tricks? Let's try. All right, let's take a look at this baby, huh? Get it off the mount here. So this is what I'm talking about, the orange, right? That's red. It's orange, okay? Yeah, look good. And this part, it's blue accents, man. And the orange, man. That looks so hot right there, I love it. All right, what else we got here? Look at that boom. That wonderful sight right there. I kept the yellow um, Kelvin stickers for now. Um, I have orange ones I could put on there, but you know, I kind of like a little bit of contrast, a little bit of something different on the back there. So I'm gonna leave that for now and see how that goes. Um, everything fits well. 